Hello, I'm Dr. Guy Yetros for Dental Sleep Solutions and DS3 and Dental Sleep Medicine Insider Magazine. Today we're going to talk about a problem that happens occasionally about a seven-year-old device. Patient uh, broke it in half. Uh, now we've done a pre-authorization and we're going to be making her a new device, but in the meantime she'd like to wear this old one. So you can repair these in your office pretty readily. Uh, even your team can do this once you uh, kind of learn how to do this and maybe you can even do this for your partials and things like that to break as well. As long as it's a clean break and you can put it back together so it's nice and e uh, fits, nice and uh, precise, then all you need is some super glue which we're going to use to hold it in place temporarily, hand piece, hot water pot, something uh, like impression material to put inside it to make an index and ideally a pressure uh, pot will make this all better. So the first step is we're just going to glue this back together with some super glue or cyanoacrylate we can call that if we want to be uh, a little more precise and not use the word super glue in front of our patients. So you don't need much. Less is better with super glue oftentimes. I'm going to put it back together. Make sure it's nice and seated. Now once this hardens we're going to put some impression material or a bite registration material on the inside to make a flexible model and then we're going to grind out where the super glue is and replace that with uh, acrylic. Uh, now that we have attached the two parts together with cyanoacrylate as I like to call it, we're going to just uh, take some impression material, or bite registration material, whatever you want to make kind of a flexible model in case this comes apart while we're uh, making it. Okay, I'm just using impression material here but you could use bite registration material, whatever you have. Just going to make a flexible model so that we can take this on and off in case uh, you know we need to uh, re-index this back together afterwards. So. so now that the impression material is hardened, you can see we have a kind of a flexible model of the uh, of the teeth in case uh, so that way the material won't go through when we uh, mix the acrylic. And now we're going to take the um, where it's cut where it's broken rather. And I'm going to cut about half of it back and replace that with acrylic. So I just look where it was, where it was cut, and I'm just going to go right down the crack line. As you can see now, we have a, a groove there, maybe a little wider than I needed. I uh, probably should have used a smaller burr, but it'll work fine. We're going to uh, fill that in with some uh, Quick Cure uh, Jet Acrylic and let it harden in the pressure pot, and then we'll cut out the rest of it and replace where the crack was. I'm just going to pour some hot water in here. I usually do this in the sink because it overflows and makes a mess. Like that. I'm just going to put this in here like so. I'm going to tap it off a little extra water. And put this in. Use the warm water, it just sets up quicker. Pressure to it. Okay, you can see now we have part of it uh, acrylic back together, and now I'm going to cut out the other cracks. Actually, I caused another crack while I was doing this, so I'm going to do one at a time. I'm just going to cut back to my uh, new repair. I can see we've um, used the Quick Cure acrylic to uh, adhere two-thirds of it. Now I'm just going to finish this. I left just a little bit there that is going to just left with the glue because I don't want to get involved in that class, but uh, we should be able to get all the repair completed now. So I'm going to add a little bit underneath first. Remember that little groove there. Making sure not to get this in here. I'm going to put this back on, like 
so. All right, like that. And once again, we're going to put it in the hot water. I've got some here on the pressure pot. Okay, now we have it all to, uh, repaired. We just got to smooth all the um, areas that we repair. Just make it nice and smooth to the tongue. Check all the areas. And I always look underneath to make sure it shouldn't have gotten any in there because uh, of our index, but sometimes you get a little excess inside that could hold it up. So make sure there's no little burrs in there. We're pretty good. I'll just polish it now. However you want to polish it, I use these little points. Use a lathe. And I used a fine point on it. Find that it's a little wet. It makes a nice smooth surface. All right, and there you have it. Repaired and ready to deliver to the patient. We have the repair here, all ready to go. If our model was uh, well constructed and we did this right, we should just be able to to deliver it. So do you mind us trying this in? Nope. Let's put the top one in first. Okay. And since you've been using this, you've been wearing this for quite a long time. Let's we'll see if it just uh -huh. goes in like we hope. Yeah. Beautiful. Lay down. She's had this device for about seven years now, I think. Mm -hmm. Doing well with it, but occasionally we need to repair it and we're going to be looking to get her a new one, but she'll be up and running now uh, until we get her a new one made.